and welcome to the Gussets and Go Days podcast, episode number 13. My name is Christina and this is my podcast about knitting, stitching and all of my crafting endeavours. It's been a little while since I've seen you and we've now moved into autumn, uh, which of course is um, the perfect knitting season and has everyone in a little bit of a frenzy, myself included. So I'd like to share with you my little projects uh, that I've been working on. So, hmm. I have my minced pie tea from Bird and Blend out already. I saved some from last year. Because, you know, as soon as it's Halloween, it's Christmas too. So I would like to start off with my, oh my gosh, my longest <laughs> knitting project ever, which are my Pixel Rye socks, which are a colourwork project, which was my advent project from last year. They are super beautiful, but <laughs> they took a super duper long time. Um, colour work in fingering weight yarn is not <laughs> super speedy. <laughs> it's a little bit of a labour of love. I knit the first sock um, every day, it's toe up, which I then had to go back and change I don't know, what a mess. And I'm not even explaining it very well. But anyway, during Advent, I used a different mini that came from my Advent calendar from Laura George last year. And I used it every day. Um, I wound up a new one and um, added one to the sock. But of course, as we went further and further into Christmas, people's gifts weren't being finished on time. So I had to kind of put this down and concentrate on that. Uh, I added in the Fish Lips Kiss Heel. And I wasn't quite sure where to add it. Um, I'd never made a toe up sock before. And um, I just ended up putting it in the middle of um, the stockinette portion of each stripe. So there's a colour work on the beginning, a colour work on the end and then a stockinette. I guess it's you can see it better in the um, in the orange. You can see it's kind of speckled on the top and bottom which is what create what's the colour work you can see on the red really well there um and then there's i don't know two or three rounds or something of the plain stockinette and then some more colour work so i just put it into the middle but in the green which turned out to be like a, one or two sizes too big for me so i finished them and then i went back and I cut off some of the toe and then re-knit them the way I would do my wedge toe, which means that part of it looks different than this part. So it turned out all to be a little bit of a nightmare. And then when I'd finished finished, the part that I'd re-knit, I hadn't knit tightly enough on the sides and um, there were ladders. So then I had to use some extra yarn to kind of tighten it up. And now those two sides are a bit bulky. Oopsie. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> they are beautiful. I'm still super happy with them. They were, they are like a little bit more tricky to put on your foot than an ordinary stockinette or pattern sock uh, being colour work. And I believe I knit the 72 stitch um, option. I don't know if that's a medium or a large, but anyway, it was it was 72 stitches and I would usually knit a, a 64. And then I'm just going to show with you my, share with you my floats. So they're not super tight. I don't know if they potentially could have been looser, but I still got a really good stretch in them. And even when I was knitting it, you couldn't see any bubbling. No, is that the right word? When the surface is all um, like puckered and pulled because your floats are too tight. I didn't have that as a problem, so yay! 
they are now wearable. I think I'm going to wear these Christmas Day, maybe? Christmas Day socks? Yay! Oh, I've got to show you that this project. Oh, it took me to hold the sock up on, on top of me to realise, oh wait, I didn't tell you about that one. Anyway, so I knit it on um, my usual 2.25 millimetre higher, higher sharps in um, 80 centimetre uh, circulars and they took forever, but I really loved them. These are the Pixel Rye socks. I'll put the details down below in the drop down bar, drop bar, down there. And it was the Nora George Advent Calendar. And, um, oh, they love me. But I I'm already excited about the pyjamas now, so, you know, moving on. <laughs> um, so I just finished my um, Piccadilly pyjamas, which is a pattern by, Nina Lee and they're lovely and I can't remember where the fabrics are oh, I got the fabric from mm, so over it um, I got it on their online shop I didn't go in um, it's I would say it was a quilting weight cotton um, and they are just little rosebuds so so sweet and let me move my chair out the way. Just, uh, is it going to focus? Should I wait for it to focus or? So yay. Um, I made, I think I made the size 16, which was painful. I don't know why it matters but it was <laughs> pick the big size makes you feel a bit depressed anyway um there's enough room especially in the back and um, you know being pajamas i would usually wear my clothes quite fitted but let's be honest pajamas do not need to be fitted at all the collar is a little mandarin collar Whoa. Okay, sorry. Um, easily distracted. Um, so it's meant to sit up quite, you know, prim and proper. Um, but in reality, did I fuse it? Don't think I fused it. I find sometimes when you wash things quite often, like you would with pyjamas, that, that fuses, fusing or interfacing can sometimes um, like bubble and blister after a while and it just doesn't look nice so I omitted that and um, in reality it kind of tends to sit like down flat which doesn't bother me sometimes push it up but it kind of I don't know I like it anyway that doesn't bother me and it's got these cute little gathers on the sleeve head which I have forward facing shoulders you know you're meant to have your shoulders back like this but you know i don't so they are central it's my shoulders which are not and of course the lovely lovely so just gonna hoist them up ever so elegantly this is one of my favorite bits and i'll put down below where what the piping is it's meant to have binding um, but I used piping and then added a facing and I left out the drawstring and just did elastic. I just thought I sleep on my front and having a big ribbon here was going to annoy me. And they are plain buttons which are mother of pearl and they were just little vintage ones I had. And I you draw the pockets. Anyway, those are the Piccadilly pyjamas. I have never made pyjamas in my life. I have never thought to make them before. Um, just because I thought, well, you sleep in them, no one sees them, so what's the point? But 
I was wrong. They are fabulous to have me made things and um, I don't know, they're super pretty and they're really comfy. Now I feel like I need to have a pyjama party. Like a knitting pyjama party would be so good. <laughs> now we're in focus. We kind of, this is very annoying light. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's fine. Moving on. I hope I haven't forgotten anything about these. They were really lovely to make and with the trousers, I made the hip a bigger size and then graded it out. So I started on the small on the waist and then I just kind of curved out in the hip um, to a bigger size and one of them went back in, which is really lovely. When you, um, when you buy a pattern, instead of making your own, they come with all of the sizes together usually. And each size has got its own line um, labeled. So if you know that in a particular area, you are bigger than in another or smaller in one area than another, you can just um, join up the smaller size to the bigger size in the area that you need. And um, that's not a new thing. A lot of people do do that, but um, it just makes it really easy. and. Um, it's listed on your pattern envelope what size is each, what measurement each size is. So um, you can kind of tell which areas of your body match which measurements and then and then make the changes accordingly. So, yes. Um, okay, moving on, which is like my my project of shame. So this is a finished, well, it would be finished if it fit, but it doesn't, so therefore it's not finished. This is the um, the Beauty School Pullover um, by Amy Appel of Poison Girls. And it is just a fitted stockinette uh, with a uh, pullover with a folded over ribbed neckband and um, plain fitted sleeves. Now, this stockinette, oh, it's, it's made in um, Beehive Yarns, absolutely beautiful in the Audrey base, which is the 25% nylon, 75% superwash merino in the powder puff colorway. So there we go. But it's still, yeah, there we go. This is fabulous. I absolutely love it. And I made the body and I put it on and it fits really nicely. Gives a really nice fitted um, shape. Really happy with it. And then I knitted the sleeves. And I don't know if you can tell. But these are super skinny sleeves. Also, I do not have super skinny arms. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh dear. I knit the right size and um, you don't pick up every stitch when I've never knit a pattern where you pick up the stitches in the round for a sleeve and you pick up every stitch because that would make a really stretched out armhole I think um, so you you do every two or you know um, you pick up less stitches than there, there are and kind of slightly brings it in but I think this was every three I had to pick up and um, I seem to have shrunk the armhole to a point where it doesn't even want to sit here. It wants to sit down here. Oh, I can't believe it. And I don't think I, I can't remember if I put it on. Anyway, this was a few weeks ago. So my um, horror and kind of tearful moment has passed and now the practical Christina is thinking what can we do so um I'm going to remove these sleeves I 
was so smug when I knit these sleeves. I was knitting on it and um, I was like, I love Sleeve Island. Oh, I love Sleeve Island. I could be on Sleeve Island forever. I don't know who all these people are who don't like Sleeve Island. I'm being exiled to Sleeve Island to re-knit something I already knit. <laughs> bad, bad holiday to Sleeve Island. Anyway, also, um, I don't know if you can tell, but it decreases to here. Um, and then I stop the decreases because I originally knit the decreases all of the way and I kid you not, but it went to like this and there was no way, <laughs> I mean, I got it on, but it was like a fishnet, <laughs> you could see my skin through the weave. Anyway, you have to laugh about these things. Um, I did not alternate skeins for the sleeves and that turned out well, luckily. Um, I did not alternate skeins in the top half and that ended out well, luckily. And then, it actually doesn't look as bad as I remember. She's been banished. I was getting some pulling from the armhole down um, where the circumference is um, much at that its widest point so there are some pooly bits um, there's like a darker stripey bit there and I think on the back there's a quite a whitish bit now we're talking minimal because this is a tonal yarn um, look how lovely the colour is and I have a coral skirt which I need to let out but then I'll wear them together after I do that alteration on it okay so for the moment the plan is rip out the sleeves and then I don't know whether I should knit on kinky yarn or not I have knit many times on Kinky Yarn and it doesn't seem to have changed my tension but um, or the quality of my project but seeing how much time I've spent already on this I feel like maybe I should soak it in the hand. Oh. Anyway. Once I've taken the sleeves out I will try it on again and see how much this pulling from the armhole below annoys me. And I may rip that out as well. I know. This is why it's just been laying there for ages because who knits a garment in fingering weight and then it just pulls it all out? It's just insane. The bodice fits really nicely though. Mm, it fits so nicely and then the sleeves ruined it. Yeah, it's a very tiny armhole. I mean, I know you can't really see it, but that's the armhole. And my arms are not skinny. They're skinny here, kind of. They're not so skinny here. Anyway, I have rambled and rambled about this project, which you probably don't care anyway. More of a story. Try garments on as you go, don't get super excited and finish them, then put them on and go, oh, I put this garment on, I was like, why does this look so awful, why is the shoulder seams sitting down here, what, what is wrong with this garment, and then I realised, I'm having to like push the sleeve up, 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 anyway, what a kerfuffle, absolute drama. But I'm going to work on this because now I look at it again, I remember how much I love it. Love it, loved it, will love it again. Come on. Please give me the energy and the willpower to finish it. Thanks God. All right. Um, now this project 
was I made on a complete and utter whim because this little house is so cold and I don't want to put the heating on all day long so I made a cowl I skeined up the yarn and then I was on the train and I was trying to buy a cowl pattern but um, my internet would kept on going in and out and I could not buy one it just kept on rejecting me which was so upsetting I'm panicking because this was the only project that I had with me on the train were a pair of needles and a ball of yarn and no pattern so I knit this one twice as well oh yeah okay I feel very ditzy in this episode but I am in my pajamas so I feel like it kind of goes I used a three millimeter circular needle. Um, oh, what's the measurement? I'll put it down below. Uh, the short, a short circular that was the same, roughly measurement as this. And the first time I knit it, I cast on too many stitches. I cast on two hundred stitches which was way too big. So I got my little post-it note there. And then I cast on 120 stitches. So, yeah. So I cast on 120 stitches on three millimeter needles. I did a one by one rib did a long tail cast on and then I just knit 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 until I felt like it would be long enough kind of ruched and then I just did the same amount I think it was 19 rows of um, rib and it worked out really well but I knit it that first time and then I was gonna leave it because it wasn't a, well 120 to 200 that's kind of a big difference but it wasn't unwearable it was you couldn't have wrapped it twice it was too small to wrap twice but anyway I thought it was really lovely and um gosh super cozy and actually I only made it for an indoor garment um but I love it so much and I think it's so beautiful I wear it outdoors and it just a cowl like this super small can just fit in your pocket or on the um, on the pocket of your backpack or inside your handbag and when your neck is toasty you just feel so much warmer so it's, it's lovely I used a club yarn which was from a homespun house which is from a homespun house this is the a Harry Potter one um, the night bus so it's kind of a neutrally there we go kind of a nudie base and then you've got lots of different speckles and then you've got that highlighter yellow running through which is coming out really nicely that's very true to colour it's a base that she no longer stocks since she's moved back to America I believe merino cashmere 70% of superwash merino 20% cashmere 10% nylon the night bus this is one of those colors which when I got it I thought it's beautiful but what am I gonna make out of it something that I would only probably make a sock out of but because of the cashmere content it's so soft and lovely I had to make something for my neck and I'm super happy that I pushed my boundary on my colors and made something that I wouldn't have usually made so, yay Anyway, that is all I've got for now. Um, so thank you so, so much for watching. And I will be back much sooner than last time. I'm hoping for next week, so fingers crossed. Um, all the information that I've shared with you today will be in the um, down bar. So if I have missed anything, I will make sure to get that in. Now I always rewatch my episodes um, and do my show notes from there. I don't add links, I just write the information. So um, if you, I want to find it, you just copy and paste what I've written and then put that into Google or 
any search engine and, and you'll find it. Um, I make sure to give very clear information. And you can find me on Instagram if you'd like to um, kind of see snippets of my days and that's gussets and go days as well. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you very soon. Thanks. Bye bye.